On Tuesday, an adult female tapir was knocked down and killed on the Philip Goldson Highway near the airport junction. It is believed to be one of three tapirs that reside in the wild in the Vista del Mar area of Ladyville, but was struck by a vehicle and died at the entrance of the textile compound. But within hours, the unthinkable occurred. As residents traversed the area, they would soon notice that the carcass of the tapir had been butchered. The hind legs were first removed, and within minutes, the front legs were taken. There was also a cut around the neck. It was an awful news, the way. And, um, the area there along the Philip Goldson Highway has a high density of tapir. We know of at least three tapirs that reside in that Vista del Mar area. Um, uh, we've actually collected at least three dead tapirs from that area over the years, including a baby tapir that was less than a week old. I received the message last night that a tapir got hit by a car and was dead. Um, within a few minutes, I received a photo of the hind legs being butchered from the tapir. And within an hour or two, I received a subsequent photo showing that all four legs were butchered, were removed from the tapir. But who could do such a thing, especially to the national animal of Belize? It is no secret that the tapir population is at risk of extinction. Tapir researcher Celso Pot, since 2012, has been appealing to the public about speeding and the risks to the nocturnal mammals. But it seems that there is another threat to the national animal by hunters who similarly like gay meat, seek out its flesh for consumption. It shows that the tapir are facing more pressures. Um, it's not just the roads, it's not just the development. People obviously are still consuming tapir meat in this day and age. As in, like, how you eat cow or pork? <laughs> just like that? Right. Um, you, you have certain culture in Belize. If you look up the literature, you will see that certain culture in Belize used to consume tapir over the years. Um, get, getting the national animal uh, status, there was a reduction in human consumption of tapir meat. But I've come across hunters who tell me that, yeah, we eat tapir. According to Pot, tapirs are the largest mammals in Belize. The herbivores have a very low reproductive rate. There is concern that the rate at which they are being killed can threaten its existence. Earlier today, rangers from the Forest Department, specifically the Wildlife Unit, visited the scene to document the incident. With the assistance of a heavy equipment, the carcass was placed in the pan of a pickup truck and taken away. A post-mortem will be done to determine the cause of death, after which the remains will be buried. It's something that is not recommended for the public to do. It. I mean, it's the national animal, and, and, and these type of things are not tolerated by the, by the forest department. So um, if, anybody, if, we are, if anybody out there has any information on the butchering of this animal, we would appreciate um, if they can call us and give us some um, information on, on what happened. You know? This is like any other hit and run, you know, sadly it's, it's the animals and there is little that we can do if we do not have um, enough information. Dwayne Moody for News 5.